It's way up in Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee. Mano's in the building. No, Mano! Yep. Let's get into this Yee T. Rest in peace to Boss. Yeah. Oh, she's False. Yeah, she's a rapper that was 90s. signed to Def Jam. She was actually the first female rapper signed no, to Def Nikki Jam. No, Nikki D was. Oh, well, this she is the first after. one. Yeah, Nikki D, I think, was uh, the first rapper. I think she was like 91, I think. Okay. 92. Boss came after. Uh, but Boss was hard. Boss was, came in the whole gangster era. She was born and raised in Detroit. Yeah. And, um, you know, as the story goes, Russell Simmons was the one that signed her, and she put out her first and only studio album in 1993. It was called Born Gangsters, and here's a song, Deeper, that actually made the Hot 100. I don't really want to feel like I'm... That was, a, that was a good song. Yeah, that was a hot song And she had the song then. with Onyx... She had a couple. I don't on. give up. Like she was, she was lit. I was a big fan of Boss. Yeah. Uh, when I was younger, so Messed she was up. only fifty-four yeah. years old, by the way. Yeah. Um, but there's no word on circumstances surrounding her death. But she did have. She uh, had a stroke. Yeah, they said she was back. was ba- battling renal disease. She was first diagnosed in 2011. Then she had a stroke and seizure that mm. left her needing costly care, including a possible kidney transplant. Man. Man. All right, and Daryl Strawberry is resting comfortably. He had a heart attack, according to the New York Mets. And so he posted a photo of himself at the hospital on Instagram and said, I'm so happy and honored to report that all is well. All right, Bishop Lamar Whitehead, he was convicted yesterday of fraud, attempted extortion, and lying to the FBI. And that is for allegedly bilking an elderly woman out of her retirement savings and using his ties with the mayor to try to extort a Bronx business owner. Now, if you guys recall, Bishop Lamar Whitehead was on Way Up With Ye early on when the show started last year, and here's what he had to say about his pending case. Do you feel confident that you will get these charges dropped and that everything will be fine, you won't have to go back to jail because you are facing uh, charges that have a significant amount of time attached to them? Yeah, I believe that we're going to get the victory because Bishop Whitehead and a mayor of New York City is being trapped and set up by the real con man. And I just want my life back, Angela. All right. Now, Bishop Lamar Whitehead also did go live today and commented on this verdict. And he does plan to fight it. Here's what he said. Stop listening to all of these social media platforms and the media. Do your own research. I stand on my innocence. This was not about Bishop Whitehead, y'all. This was politically driven. This was about Mayor Eric Adams. And just because I was not going to be a federal informant against the mayor of New York, the FBI said they was going to make my life a living hell. Hmm. All right. He is scheduled to be sentenced on July 1st. And, you know, he could face up to 45 years in prison. So, very unfortunate situation for him. Man, man, man. You know, he posted, the story isn't over, it's just a new chapter, stay tuned, God is still God. They can all laugh now and talk. After this, Jesus will still get the glory. Stay tuned for this new chapter called Truth and Vindication. And then he put, watch God. All right, well, that is your Yeeti. And when we come back, you know we always want to give advice. And Mano, you are an award-winning advice giver. People love your reactions on Tell Us a Secret. And so 800-292-5150 is a number. Any question that you have, we are here to help you out. And you can always also leave a message in case you can't get through, and we answer your questions that way. Ask Yee when we come back, 800-292-5150.